all right you guys i don't know what i'm gonna call this series it's gonna end it, it it's gonna end up being a series because there's gonna be a lot of of diving into this car and really trying to find out what's wrong with it um so i got it back from the mechanic about uh i'll probably say a week ago let me get in the garage because it's too windy out here So I got it back from the mechanic about a week ago and I was hoping they would be able to tell me more about the car, but uh, well, they found out a lot of things. He said, the good thing is there's no leakage in the engine. The oil pan is starting to leak a little bit, but that's nothing to worry about. He said, um, the driver rear strut is starting to leak as well. Um, so I will have to replace that sometime soon and I, I'm okay with that because um, I was going to replace the shocks and springs anyways because I wanted to lower it anyways. It's kind of weird because the back is really low. Maybe that's the bad side. And then the front is so high. Two of the wheels are cracked on the car. So I honestly did not like these wheels to begin with when I first got it. So uh plan on removing them. I, I don't feel safe. Uh driving around with crack wheels. They have been repaired, but there's something about rims that have already been cracked and have been repaired. You know, I feel like the crack will be forever there. So, you know, all it takes is that one hard bump and it for it to re-crack and shatter and you end up spinning out and harming someone or yourself on the freeway. Um, but Today, we're going to test it out because I did a little bit more research online. They say if you have a bad veil, se uh, veil sealed, if you let the car sit for a while, it should puff out smoke when you start. And I feel like my car doesn't really do that. So it's either um, it's because they're not as bad or, or it's just like I'm at this point, I'm really confused because the the car shows signs of bad veil sales, but it could be piston rings or it could be the turbos, but there's a lot of oil in the exhaust pipe. So the oil has to be coming from her. And I'm praying it's not the piston ring because I'm not capable of putting a new engine in. And you guys, I paid, I overpaid on this car and for the, the year and everything. So it's like, it's just been a crazy run on this car. So I mean, go ahead and start the car. And uh, let's see if we see any um, exhaust smoke that comes out. I did recall the last time I did this, um, I didn't have no smoke. So I'm not sure if I'm going to get any today. See how weird it is? It's like no smoke. And what's crazy is it blows, I feel like it blows more air out of one side only. And it's usually the passenger side. I don't see any type of moisture. And the white cloud you guys are seeing is not exhaust smoke, it's actually uh, exhaust fume. Now the car change in like sound, it almost got deeper. And that's when I start getting more exhaust on the other side. So I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, I can see it just has the normal um, moisture that's coming off the exhaust. Yeah, at this point, I'm really lost. But anyways, we're headed over to the garage. Because uh, I need to do something in the car. So I'm headed over to the garage to 
uh, put the um, my other wheels on the car because I do not trust driving these crap wheels on the car right now. So I'm going to take you guys to do that. And then in two more days, the car is going back to the mechanic and they're going to do the official finalization of what I should do to the car. I definitely piston rings and new engine is out of my range and that's something I'm not capable of doing and I don't want to invest into the car even though I love the car so much uh, and I think if I end up reselling the car I'm getting a total loss. Let's head on to, over to the garage and let's switch wheels and let's go from there. Alright guys I just arrived to the garage. I have my jack ready. I got the wheels ready. Let's pray it doesn't snow anymore because these are definitely not winter tires i just want to put on a different set of wheels i mean even though he has new tires on this setup the crack scares me and um it's weird i never noticed this but i have like i don't know where all this oil came from like why would i have oil right here Wonder what's behind here. That scares me. But it doesn't really, really look fresh. I got oil right here too. It's coming from somewhere. Um, but you know, me talking about the oil uh, consumption. Like, you know, you don't smell fumes of oil or anything throughout the car. So that's a plus. But got to find out where the oil is coming from. So I'm going to put these new wheels on. I guess I'm going to feel myself and... Uh, can't wait to see how it looks on red. Okay, guys, I'm not doing anything special. Just putting, taking off the wheels. Um, I do have a cold right now, so I might sound a little crazy. But, um, yeah, just taking off the wheels. These wheels are so freaking hard to come come off. Whoever put these wheels on before me must have uh, used the impact gun because they definitely were not torqued to spec. I finally got all the lug nuts off, except for the passenger side, I ended up stripping one because it was so hard to come off. So definitely going to need to replace that. And I started off taking the front wheels, and then once I got to the back, the back were stuck. I literally spent 20 minutes on each side trying to kick the wheel off. I hammered it. Those wheels were rusted onto the rotors, and upon taking the wheels off, just looking at everything underneath the wheel wells it almost looked like this car has been submerged in water at one time because there was just sand and rock debris and rust it could easily have been a flooded dam damaged flooded car that was you know picked up from someone from an auction someone flipped it or someone sold it for more money and it was passed on and passed on and of course somehow i got lucky and got it right yeah right anyways I got all the wheels on and I just need to replace one of the lug nuts on the passenger side. Um, but yeah. So I just finished, I ended up just scrubbing all the wheels. I did the front and the back started looking dirty and I just wanted everything to match. Pretty sure they're gonna get dirty. So this car is due for alignment. I'm pretty sure it's never seen alignment in its life. As you can see, the steering wheel is actually straight and this is pointing right a little bit. And I'm gonna go on the other side. And this one seems to be a little straight. Better than that side. And I also want to show you guys the crack. All three of the wheels are cracked. The only wheel that wasn't cracked is this driver front one. Crack right here. And these are Borbit bore bore wheels. I'm not sure what brand that is. Or if it's a popular brand in the BMW community, but it does say made in Germany. Well, it says BMW right there. So these are factory wheels. I think they are. No wonder why they try to repair them. Here's the other cracker right there. And 
I think this one had a crackle right there. I'm gonna try to see if I can sell these. And then the last one are right here, which is pretty clean. Tires are brand new, but I don't plan on keeping them. I don't even actually like the way these wheels look. All right, guys, I am in the Walmart parking lot, and I'm gonna see if I can go get some oil additive so I can make it home. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna drop off the car, but this is how the car looks with the new wheels. I think they look pretty nice. It probably needs to be lowered, but honestly, I don't mind the height at all. Um, my TP sensor is TP, whatever it's called. My um, tire sensor is off finally because the ones they, the wheels he had on before um, didn't have the sensors. But this is how it's looking. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I just want to get rid of this smoking because I cannot be driving this car around and it's smoking like what it is. But uh, I'm going to end this video here. Um, I might take you guys with me to the mechanic tomorrow. We'll see. All right, you guys. I am here at Matt's Auto. This is where I usually take my car. And uh, we're going to see what he says. Good thing is the engine light is not on anymore. So he might be able to just pass me. But we'll see. Look, there's another M3 here. So, um, where I put it? All right, here we go. We're putting this key right in here. In here? Do you remember where to put the keys? Of that box. Let me take a look. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna do this real quick, you guys. Oh god. I gotta fill this out. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go fill this out real quick and then that'll be it. We'll find out more later on about the car.